another green day in the crypto sphere. For those who were prepared for this, it's a green day in their portfolio, right? Now look at the total market cap. We are 1.65 trillion. We are moving up. So here, BTC is that giant. So if you are looking at this, previously I highlighted this as the RSI was giving you that possibility of a double bottom here. As you can clearly see, the target was about 60,000. And we have already moved about $4,000, $5,000 up on BTC. Now, it's about XRP here, right? We concentrate on XRP because of its fundamentals. XRP chart is really at a breakout point and your perspective from different viewpoints enables you to analyze this particular asset perfectly because when you move into different time frame charts say this one is three day chart which gives you an idea of continuation pattern of this bullish impulse and that too showing you that we had first impulse second one and then correction so first correction second correction now the rsi needs to break above and the macd is showing it can bounce to the upside instead of crossing to the downside and when that happens is when you get a continuation pattern candle here now stepping a little more in onto the daily chart this is what you actually see look at the macd there wow look at the rsi it looks great now, there are guys who are becoming impatient and moving out of this asset. Now, that decision is completely up to you because when the market is showing you different type of news, you should also look at all the news and then decide for yourself, right? When you're only focusing on negative news, mm -hmm, that kind of gives you a, a perspective which is not clear, right? You should actually be able to see everything because the negative news always go forward like it's a wildfire. Mm -hmm. Whereas the positive one, it's slow and some are kind of hidden. You need to go find it, read through it and then understand, okay, this is that possibility. Welcome to the scientific investor family where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly. We kind of discussed this yesterday, right? Even though the truth is in front of you, it would be really hard for you to understand that they are manipulating you. And that's literally happening in the markets. Now see, this is one of the posts which I gave to my patrons and uh, they are happy. See, we reached our target. This was the uh, target, see, which we plotted. And, you know, same, I like targets reached. Do you have an update on the next target? They're preparing for the long term, medium term. Mm -hmm. say one which is harmony i put this one out say target one reached we are aiming for two and just after some time we get message okay no 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 we are hitting the next already so it's like if you are ready you're getting one target then another you're moving like that say engine we posted this one and then we are waiting for a dip if it is there because we have a strategy in which we are not missing every Pump. Now this is quant and as you can see we had our target, we got that target and we are moving towards the next one. Then this is BNT. Now if we go through, we have a lot of different ones which are literally smashing the targets. See this one particular, I thought you know there would be a little bit of correction and then bump to the upside. But this remember is a long term chart and it shows you the three wave structures. But it showed that the second wave itself is having way higher momentum than what we expect from Elliott wave analysis. And this kind of shows me that the crypto market is going for a ride this time. Now these are small coins. Now once they pop in through the big coins, you're gonna get similar patterns. So watch out for your XRP. When you look at the chart of XRP, you will definitely understand that right now, definitely looks like an opportunity forming here in XRP and for me if I'm not in this I would be jumping in but anyway I'm already in why because what we do here in our patreon is position trading we try to position ourselves properly so that when the market moves up we are in that one we are not missing now it's like not only one asset we go through a variety of different assets to get that opportunity because when you look at this you will understand one coin pops first then the other so if dot is up 12 percentage 
you should be in dot now it's not like that the only coin which is breaking to the upside because we are kind of hitting through a lot of different targets right say so koti we hit the target one we're waiting for patiently for the target two so similarly if you are spread out in five to eight or ten assets waiting for these you are not actually missing these say terra luna we were going through this it's moving towards our target so in the similar manner when we are looking at the market you will understand one thing you have opportunities in different arena where if you are placed correctly you kind of get those profit but yes these kind of stuff are the monsters which we kind of miss somewhat because there is no much technical stuff which you kind of get at least in my eyes but some others which you regularly get are the ones which you need because for me as an xrp investor i'm trying to make those capital extra capital the liquidity and to put that back into xrp so now this is the monthly chart we'll start from a daily and then go to a three day and then a long term chart so on a daily one we are looking at last one year and here from the feb you can see that we consolidated in this particular manner way the highs are low but the lows are high right so that kind of gives you an idea buyers were not pushing the price up or at least sellers were not allowing us to push the price up each time we were going so that became a resistance level now at the bottom it's similar sellers were pushing it down but buyers were finding it attractive to buy at that particular price so the price was slowly moving to the upside but if you focus here in this particular area from that move of 0.48 all the way back down to 0.38 and then come up it's definitely looking like a rounded bottom pattern which you know is uh, not about the pattern it's about the uh, technicals they say the supply and demand supply is increasing the demand was not increasing whereas at this point demand and supply kind of matched up so it's kind of staying stable and then eventually the demand is increasing or the supply is decreasing when the demand is staying stable now if you look at the macd here showing you know the moving average and its convergence and divergence you kind of see that okay we are crossing to the upside what happened last time when you crossed to the upside you moved up i was cool then you got a bounce here the price bounced now one of the particular stuff for that which you need to understand is as of now you know i made this chart like a little bit ago and i posted it to my patrons now I was 0.481 and I was anticipating that say a 3, 4 or 5 percentage pump here would give us a breakout. We would move through this. Now, look at that chart right now. If you go into a daily chart for uh, me, I can actually say right now the price is 0.483. Now, yeah, it's just, you know, 0 0.002 uh, is the difference. 0 0.002 is the difference. But you look at the momentum there right you can actually go into a four hour chart and then look at what we are literally talking about because that pattern which you are seeing there is effective why if you come here plot this you kind of see a inverse head and shoulder which we discussed previously right you get that sh that shoulder there then the head here if you plot it correctly now these won't be that attractive because i'm making right now without much of a clarity yeah so you get the point here right now you can kind of first back a little bit and then look at the rsi say what is your rsi doing for uh, my eyes what i see here is the rsi was showing you a little bit of upside there and then it kind of pumped to the upside so you had a trend now it's consolidating here and when it is consolidating it's having a base here so that's acting as a support range now it's moving towards its resistance range and if it's breaking that it's cool now come back into the macd here and zoom in we are in the positive territory now that's on a four hour chart now you come back into the daily chart which we were discussing like this this is the pattern when you zoom in on that one now you kind of zoom out a little bit and look at the daily candle are you getting the momentum yeah cool and what's happening in the macd you are still in the positive territory you're rounding to the upside so chances are high that you would cross to the upside okay now why is that so important because when you move out into different time frame charts and look at what literally happened in such a situation where you were upside mm -hmm, you were in the positive arena 
and or the positive zone in the MACD in a bull run. That's really important to note because you know you can't completely predict what the market will be doing today, tomorrow, or in a month. You can position yourself before each wave happens, but before those each wave happen you kind of get an idea from the market that it's going to go do something like this. But sometimes it's a little bit different. See, here the MACD was crossing to the upside. You moved up, but not like monster waves, right? You moved like 100 percentage, that's fine. But it's not like these monster waves which we are waiting for. Now, the cross here happened in the negative territory, not in the positive one. Here, you got that in the positive zone. So that's what makes it really attractive. Now come back here and look at here. The cross of MACD here happened in positive zone. That gave you this wave. Now, if you are arguing that it's not a huge wave like what we had here, yes, I kind of agree with that. But if you zoom in, go back here and then look at this particular area where we were pumping, this is what you actually see in MACD. You kind of didn't get much of information there unless you were positioned, right? So that's the reason why we tried to position trade. That position trading strategy gives you the ability to be in these surprising moves. Like this was like, you know, literally 8,000 uh, percentage if you are measuring from the bottom, right? But those who get, got in here made that. Those who entered here made 1,400 percentage. Now, that still is not a small deal, but still, look at this. First, second, if you are zoomed in, and then you had a long consolidation before you popped. So, for the XRP, we had two consolidations, a little small one here, say a month, and then a long one here, five, six months. Now, these are indications for you to look at the market and say, okay, there can be consolidations. When you see that in the market, don't be naive saying, you know, no, 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 it's a bull market. We are going up. We are going up. Yeah, it's fine. We are going up. But the question is, are we going up every day for a year? Did we do that last time? No, at least you look at this, you'll understand 10 days, 20 days, 30 days was the maximum we were moving up. Sometimes, yeah, 50, 60 days. But in a year time frame, we only did like 100 days upside. Remember, if you take this from here and plot it till here, you kind of get around 312 days in which 200 days we were not moving to the upside like huge moves in a bull market like which we anticipated. It was only that 100 days. So if you were trying to, you know, jump out and jump in, if you miss 10 huge days on that inside that 100 days of pump, you are losing like 90% of the total gains. Now, when we talk about the 90% of the total gains on that particular year, remember it was like 700x your money, right? If you catch that precisely, you get somewhere closer to 700x. This is like 750x, but yeah, it was not accurately 750. Now, you come back here and then look at this one and say, should you be doing same stuff? Or are you saying, no, 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 this time it's different? Now that's completely up to you to make a choice there, but understand history rhymes itself because it's investors with money and their psychology. If you have read the book, Psychology of Money, you'll already understand what I'm pointing you towards. Now these are something important which you need to understand. Now, I'll actually take you towards that perspective back in the altcoin market cap. Say this is the altcoin market cap. What do you see here? We are coming back all the way up. Mm -hmm. We are reaching that all time high with the candle, which is bullish, which is still continuing. And the RSI pointing you to the upside, MACD crossing to the upside. Do you think we are done? If you remember in the previous video, we highlighted that we already have corrected 35 percentage to the downside from that recent peak in altcoin market cap. So that too is reaching its 50 day moving average. So previously, if you see this, you can understand 50 day moving average bounce, 50 day moving average bounce. So if you are trying to, you know, look at what happened in the market last time when we bounced, say here, it was like 60 percentage. Okay, fine. Here, it was like 80 percentage. Okay, fine. Then here after the correction, how much did we actually move up? To reduce the confusion, it's 120 percentage. So each time when you were moving up, the percentage of rice were increasing. So in that perspective, how much would you expect? 
at least the same stuff, 120 percentage. Mm -hmm. Now, that's completely up to you how you can judge that. But for me, doubling is still possible, right? If we move 100 percentage from here, that's double the all-time highs in majority of the coins because this is the average of all the altcoins which you are watching here. And when you zoom in closely on a monthly chart, this is what you definitely see, right? The second wave is monster. And we were talking about this from months, highlighting you don't miss this wave in different assets. Depending upon which asset you are positioned in, in our Patreon, we were discussing about the waves of different assets, right? This is just an example. Wave 1, wave 2, we are expecting this. Now, if you were positioned well, you were taking benefit of, of the same stuff. Now, here also, we are looking at something similar. We'll just look at where this is going to end and then understand where we are headed. Why? Because when you look at the dominance and all BTC dominance and then try to, you know, uh, understand what literally is happening with the asset which you trade the most and look at the BTC with it, you are like, okay, we are still at the bottom. So that means in my eyes, for me, this is still a buying opportunity because if I take the historical low of this particular asset precisely and then measure how long can I go down if the price is to drop, it's 40 percentage, right, on BTC pair. But does it literally make huge sense when you are dropping like this again the recent low was still here in usd terms that was 0.167 yes i agree but when you come back to btc pair this is what you see now jump back to the usd pair on the same stance this is on a monthly chart you're taking out all the trend lines and then looking at this yeah what was the recent low in the same stuff 0 0.17 0 0.18 in that region we weigh fine now this is a monthly chart and remember this month we closed about that moving average on Jan. Now Feb maintained that level. Even though we moved above and a little bit below, we still close there. Right now, as we talked last time, as we talked previously about this particular candle, if it go green, if it goes bullish shaped candle about this particular level, which is 0.75, that's a continuation pattern which you are getting at the bottom of a market cycle when we are reversing up with a trend to the upside. Literally, I, I don't understand how I explain the bullishness inside the technicals in the market because we saw this on a daily and when this is happening on a daily, mm -hmm, so imagine we are moving towards $1 on a daily chart. Okay, you broke out. This is your target. You are going through that target. Wow, fine. Now you step back out and look at the three day chart. That does mean that you're moving towards here, right? And that means you are now out of this base channel and you are entering into that acceleration channel. Wow. You need to understand this stuff because when that's happening, a bounce in the three day chart and moving forward, then on a weekly chart, moving above this particular range where you had a long time, you spent a long time in this area and only a little bit of time above this zone, $1. So the resistance is kind of a little when you're moving there. Now the psychological level will be there when you're approaching 3.3, 3.5, 3.8. That has to be kept in mind. Now, yeah, while you talk about the psychology in terms of technicals, you should also look at psychology in terms of fundamentals. See, when you see the negative news here and there, I also will highlight, you know, this is something important, right? Swiss exchange are starting this. Important update, XRP trading and deposit enabled. Now read that clearly. We would like to inform you that upon reassessment, XRP trading and deposits have been re-enabled. So those who don't understand this in the United States, I don't know how or what they think when they are looking at XRP and the SEC. I, you know, if I say something, it would be biased, but these are reality, right? Europe inside is clearly highlighting that XRP is not a security. Fine. Asia, say Japan, is highlighting that and they are going high on this one. So if you look at this and understand, okay, why is li this literally happening? If XRP is in a security, then why aren't US-based exchanges relisting it? And I'm looking back at history, is there something similar? And as I've highlighted previously, that was a situation for gold. There was something like this in the history. 
were a United States citizen, were not allowed to buy gold. It was illegal for them to hold gold. And at the same time, the government were holding, you know, they were holding it. They were kind of buying heaps of gold. They built their reserves on that one. Now, is it something similar? Is it going to be the standard? Because gold was that standard. And then they kicked out gold from that standard, but maintaining that as the reserve, right? Not the reserve financial fiat there, the reserve asset for the government to base upon the economy. Now, are we looking at something like that? Now, that would be speculation completely from my end, but that's what I kind of think. If United States, one of the biggest, not the one of the, the biggest economy in the world, which is going to be overrun soon by China, is kind of doing something like this, so that they are back in the top. Now, when this question comes, like if it's not a security, why these kind of measures? Because see, here, based on this one, they clearly understand that it's not a security, right? We would like to inform you that upon reassessment, XRP trading and deposits have been re-enabled. So for them, it's clear. Now, this is kind of the next area we're coming towards, right? The NFT tokens, the non-fungible tokens, right? They are now getting attention and right now, they are coming into XRP Ledger. Here is how NFTs are coming to the XRP Ledger, according to Ripple-backed XRP Ledger Labs. Now, these are also interesting because when the new phase of crypto arena is becoming ready, you know, that new realm, each one is the, you know, the defund, uh, decentralized finance, all those different sites where people are kind of moving to see opportunities. Now, it's kind of non-fungible tokens. And that's kind of getting the attention right now and it's moving into XRP Ledger. So that's another literal use case. Now this one, we kind of gave you a perspective that Bank of France is happy about doing this on XRP Ledger. Now when that is the case, you do have to understand it's about digital euro, it's about entire European Union. Now you see this one from a Swiss exchange, which is there in the European Union, and you can kind of understand, okay, wow, so there is something changing in the European territories, right? They understand something. And then you come to IMF website, they kind of show you remaking the post-COVID world. Now there is a lot of stuff involved, but understand this is an article for finance and development. And they are highlighting you the automation stuff and all that should be from a perspective we are innovating. We're not, you know, kicking out the innovation, but at the same time, we are helping the human beings to coexist, the technology and human beings. If you go through that video, which I have put out, you'll completely understand what I'm trying to highlight here. Now say, this is the recent news and the positive news for me because it appears 440 times denies, the word denies appears 440 times. Now we read through that SEC claims, allegations, right? And we understood that majority of them are like, you know, a five year old saying they did this, they did this, they did this without having that, all those um, literal proof which they need to, right? So before this case, no securities regulator in the world has claimed that transactions in XRP must be registered as securities. As for good reason, right? Now we are seeing across the globe, they are kind of moving way before SEC because the SEC is just staying there. They don't even know where they are going with this stuff. At least in my opinion, they literally don't understand what a healthy market looks like and what it needs. They're saying they're trying to protect yourself as investors, but they're doing the opposite. We can actually see that, right? Because when we look at the different fundamentals here, it kind of points us towards it. So this one from Wrath of Kainman highlights that clearly. In Brazil, Visa will bring two blockchain services already in use. It will offer APIs for banks. Now, one of that is like they're kind of uh, highlighting towards uh, Anchorage, which offers XRP and payment channels. Now, when you talk about APIs, you have to remember Volunteer Pay and the Ripple's API, which they are using. Now, these are all things to be considered when the fundamentals are getting so strong in one side and the technicals are moving towards the waves of next market, right? Now, the new inflow of money is coming in. You're waiting for the new wave of money coming in and then the new wave of price fluctuation. And that is kind of nearing, right? We talked about it previously. So we are not going to miss that. If you want to get charged, which you have in your, 
say if you have different assets in your portfolio and if you want those charts you can definitely look at the patreon link is given in the description so the, so that you can see these charts for your assets and take benefit of these opportunities and then if you want to put that money back into silver platinum or any other assets if you are a low risk guy or then if you are moving back into crypto to make that gigantic gains that's completely up to you so these opportunities are there and opportunities pop up in this market every now and then maybe one or two days you won't find but the majority of the time you kind of see that the market gives you opportunities and you try to take benefit of that if you received value for your time please do hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that already if you would like to support the channel more you can look at the paypal patreon or the xrp wallet address given in the description below i'll meet you guys on the next video bye for now